Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Associate Professor, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift One from Petition College of Arts and Science, RAR Chennai. In this video, you are going to learn how to work out the earnings of the workers on a GANS task bonus plan. Click the I button to watch my previous videos to have a more understanding on how to calculate the earnings of the workers and the Taylor's differential PC system, as well as Merrick's multiple PC system. And also you can have more understanding on the other concept that I covered in cost accounting. Let me check how to work out the earnings of the workers under GAN's task bonus plan. First of all, the very first step is we need to determine the standard output and standard time is fixed for the output. Once we found the standard output, which is going to be fixed by the company, the standard will be compared with the actual performance of the workers in order to calculate the efficiency level of the performance of the workers. If we found any workers below standard, as per the GANS plan, he will able to get only guaranteed time wages. In case any worker is equal to the standard, I mean par with the standard, at standard means, he will get time wages as well as 20 percentage bonus. What is the time wages on that plus 20 percentage bonus? So both he will get. In case if you found any worker is above the standard, then those workers will be paid by high piece rate. So as per GANS task bonus plan, there are three differential rates. The first rate is below standard means the company will give only time wages. In case any worker is equal to the standard means you will get time wages plus 20 percentage of time wages you will get as a bonus. In case if any worker is above the standard means then he is eligible to get high piece rate. So this is all about GANS task bonus plan. Once we calculate the standard output, we'll compare the standard output with the actual output of all the workers. We will apply these three rules. Let me check one problem to have more understanding on the GANS task bonus plan. Calculate the earnings of the workers under GANS task bonus plan from the following particulars. Guaranteed time rate is rupee one per hour. This information is to calculate the time wages whose uh, performance is below the standard means he will get only the time which is no. So for that time which is calculation only, they get the time rate. High piece rate is given. Um, whenever you are work, going to work out the problem to calculate the earnings of the workers and against task plan, definitely you will have this information, high piece rate. Okay. So high piece rate, this information we can make use only when worker is crossing the standard. I mean above the standard. So, and the standard output for 10 units is one hour. So the company is allowing you, allowing you to cal, that is work, produce uh, 10 units for one hour. The actual performance of the A, uh, A, B, C workers are given. That is for eight hours. So we need to calculate the standard output one hour is to be converted for eight hours. So look at that, uh, the calculation. Uh, see, uh, for one hour is equal to 10 units means what is for eight hours, 80 units. So now look at the workings I did, the calculation of uh, earnings of ABC and a GANS task bonus plan is actual output is 70, but standard is how much 80 units. How I calculate standard? Can you able to understand the workings I made now orally? One hour is equal to 10 units means what is for eight hours, 80 units. Can you able to follow my viewers? One hour is equal to 10 units means what is for eight hours, 80 units. So the standard is 80 units. The standard output is 80. Let me check A's performance, 70. So I'll come to a conclusion, A is below standard. So you'll get only time wages. And B produces 80. Uh, actual is also 80, standard is also 80. So he will get time wages plus 20% bonus. C produces 90, which is above the standard. So you will get high piece rate, 20.20. Now look at the earnings. A's actual output is 70, but standard is 80. A is below the standard. So you'll get only the guaranteed time wages. Time wages formula, how to calculate the time wages. Time taken into rate per hour. What is the time taken for all three workers? Eight hours only, right? 
So AAS earnings is equal to A TAS into what is the rate per hour is given in this problem? Rate per hour is one. So time taken rate per hour. So A TAS into one rupees A. So earnings of A is eight. Next I'll move on to the B. B actual output is 80. Standard is also 80. So B is at standard. So B will get time wages plus 20% bonus. Already I calculated the time wages. What is the time wages for all three workers now? Eight rupees. So time wages eight on that eight, you will get 20% bonus. Eight in 20% is 1.6. So eight plus 1.6, 9.6. So this is the difference between B and A. A is below. So you will get time wages. B is equal to the standard. So E will get more than the A by having a 20% bonus on time wages. Okay. And but when compared to B and A, C is performance above the standard. So E is eligible to get high P slip because E C's performance is 90, but standard is 80 only. So C is above the standard. So we'll come to a conclusion. So C will get high P slip. C is the earnings. What is his actual output? 90 into what is the piece rate is given in this problem point high piece rate is given 0 0.20 that's what i applied over here 90 into 0 0.20 rupees 18 so this is all about how to calculate the earnings under gans task bonus plan subscribe my channel click the bell button motivate me by passing your comments and then we will watch you in next video how to calculate the earnings under I'll say plan, row one plan, I'll say we are premium plan. Until then, bye bye.